So this video is dedicated to Emerald Star 345 who says, post more videos. Okay. What is going on YouTube? It's me, Lana Reject. And today, as you can tell from the title above, I am talking about the six YouTubers I like the most. Now, if you're wondering why I did six and not five, is because I did do five and then I thought of one more person and I didn't want to not put them in my top five and I didn't want to take anyone out, so I was like, you know what, I'll do six. And by the way, this is actually the third time I've recorded this video. First time I recorded it, recorded on the camera, but didn't record on the mic. And the second time I did it, I recorded on the mic, but didn't record on the camera. <laughs> God's sake. But anyway, the mic is definitely recording, the camera is definitely recording. So we are in business. So, coming in at number six is the Shaytards. Now normally people would assume that someone of my age and my personality, my sense of humor, my religious beliefs, I wouldn't be into some family from Utah that are Mormon Christians. But I am. To me, the way they live their life, I just, I admire them. They've got five of the most adorable kids you'll ever meet in your life. I think their values on how to bring up their children is spot on. Shay and Katie Lett are brilliant parents. I love the fact that they are religious, but they don't drum on about it. Like, there's a lot of people I know that are religious people, and they'll be like, believe in this, believe in that. Whereas they're not like that. They're like, yeah, we believe in this. We might be wrong, but this is what we like to believe in. And I respect people like that. And also, it's really interesting just to see how people live their lives that are not like me. Like, that's what interests me the most. I like to see, like, a, it's like the fly on the wall scenario. The only way I can describe it is it's like watching Big Brother, but it's more real. So coming in at number five is SourceFed slash SourceFed Nerd. Now it's two channels, that's why I did the slash. So if you don't know, SourceFed is actually a news channel that brings videos out for all throughout the day. It's all like current and relevant news stories. Now that in itself would make a good channel, which is why I like it. But what I like about them even more is that they're really good at interacting with viewers. At the end of every week, both channels, SourceFed and SourceFed Nerd, do comment commentary, which is basically they uh, go through all the comments of all the videos they've done, they read the comments out, give out t-shirts for the funniest comments, and it's just good that it feels like you're part of the community. I was actually myself featured in a SourceFed video. It's actually my first video on my channel where I reviewed a film. So if you wanna laugh about that and write some funny comments on it, uh, go check out that video. And also SourceFed Nerd do a show called Table Talk, which is basically like they have a bowl in the middle of a table, normally three of them sitting around it, and people like me, you, or whoever, we send in our questions via Twitter, Reddit, um, Facebook. They then read them out. Normally there's like really funny stories and stuff. And it's good because you get to know the host a lot better. And without a shadow of doubt, my favorite host is Steve Zaragoza. So coming in at number four, isn't actually one channel, it's actually a collective of channels. They're all gaming channels and they call themselves The Crew. Now basically the crew consists of nine YouTubers that all play games together like Minecraft, uh, Grand Theft Auto, bit of FIFA, bit of Madden, Call of Duty, Battlefield, pretty much any multiplayer online game. But the stuff they do just hands me in stitches. So the nine of them are KYR Speedy, I Am Jehovah, Sidearms for Reason, G18, Deluxe 4, Deluxe 20, Shadow Beats, Nobody Epic, and Legion. Now I don't subscribe to all of their channels. The ones I subscribe to are KYR Speedy, I Am Jehovah, and Deluxe 4. With them three channels, everyone else in the crew are always in their videos, so I get to watch all of their content at the same time, if that makes sense. But I highly recommend watching. Definitely the funniest gamers out there. So my top three was really hard for me to decide what order to put them in. Originally, I wasn't going to do it in any sort of order. I'm going to do like six YouTubers I liked. But then I was like, no, I'd rather put it in some sort of order. But the top three for me was definitely hard because I like them all equally, really. But anyway, I did put them in an order and coming in at number three is BF vs GF. Now, if you don't know who BF vs GF are, they are vlogging couple from from Philly now, actually. They was in New Jersey, now they live in Philly. They have two of the coolest cats I've ever seen in my life. Like, I'm not really a cat person, but they've got two cats, Bamboo and Nyla. They're African serval cats, which are like domestic cats bred with wild cats, so they're quite big, but they act like dogs, like, and they're just the coolest cats ever. Now, how I got into them was that I used to watch Prank vs. Prank, which is their other channel, where basically they prank the hell out of each other. And then I realized that they had a vlogging channel, so I started watching it. Hands down, my favorite vlogging channel to watch. The minute I go onto YouTube, go into my subscription box, the first videos I look out for are theirs. Now I see a lot of similarities between me and them, which I think is why I like them. 
Like, I see a lot of me and my girlfriend in them too. Like, the way they act with each other is how me and my girlfriend act with each other. If you're watching, Roz, I love you. But, like, the way they don't really take each other seriously, they laugh and joke with each other all the time, and it's just like, that's how I am with my girlfriend, and that's how she is with me. But it's cool, like I said, with the same with the shade ties, it's cool to see how people live their lives in different parts of the world. But I highly, highly, highly recommend their channel. Both channels, I highly recommend both. So, coming in at number two is... Philip DeFranco. Now I've been watching Philly D for quite a while now, even back in his douchey days as he says, with his diamond earrings, backward baseball cap, sunglasses, but I've seen him mature so much, and it's weird for me to say that because I think we're pretty much the same age, but hands down, like, the Philip DeFranco show is such a good show to watch, that he talks about current situations and stuff, and nine times out of ten, or even ten times out of ten, I always agree with what he says. His opinion to me is, is spot on every time. There could be something in the news that's controversial, and he won't necessarily sit on the fence he'll give you his opinion but to me his opinion is always spot on so coming in at number one of my favorite youtubers is probably someone you might not have even heard of to me he's a big youtuber but not big in the sense as he's got millions and millions of subscribers i think he's got like thousands of subscribers but not millions but this guy is hands down the reason why i decided to start making videos on youtube so basically what it is a friend of mine who was into youtube before i even knew what he was was always going on to me like you need to watch this guy you need to watch his videos you need to watch his videos and i was like okay yeah i will i will i will kept putting it off putting it off putting it off in the end i was at home one day i was bored went on youtube rang my mate up i was like who's this guy whose videos i need to watch and he tells me Van Awesome. Search for Van Awesome. I watch one of his videos and I'm instantly hooked. The production of his videos is spot on. The audio is spot on. The lighting is spot on. It's just, it looks so professional when you watch his videos. And I just started watching his videos and I was like, you know what? I want to do this. I want to give people my opinions on stuff. And yeah, like I said, it, it really inspired me to do what I do. Recently, he started doing this thing called the Handsome In where he's losing weight. And I've got to say, he's done bloody well at it because uh, he's lost a lot of weight. He started a community page on Google Plus called the Handsome In. I'm a part of it. I haven't posted videos recently, but I was posting videos of my progress of losing weight. It's really good because there's other people on there that can inspire you and help you and motivate you. And it's just a real cool community. And I was lucky enough to be part of a Google Hangout call with Van Awesome himself and some other people of the community. And it was like, I've got to say, I was nervous nervous because obviously I respect him I look up to him but since then I've communicated with him on comments and stuff I'm not saying he's my best friend but it just means a lot to me that someone like him who I look up to a lot gives me the time of day to me like I respect people like that he doesn't make many videos anymore but I guarantee you go to his channel watch all of his previous videos you will not be disappointed so leave a comment below of your favorite youtubers because there might be some I've never heard of I can check them out myself if you haven't already click that subscribe button helps my channel grow if you like the video give it a thumbs up oh and quickly I'm I'm really sorry, I can't remember the person's name who commented. So they, I was going to do a subscriber giveaway when I got to 100 subscribers where I was going to give away a £50 Amazon gift card. Someone actually left a comment on there saying, give it to the ASL charity where people are doing the ice bucket challenge. So what I actually meant was I would donate to the ALS charity, not the ASL charity. Uh, <laughs> I was in a rush because my battery was dying and I said it wrong. I'm actually going to say it wrong a few more times, but you know what I mean. So yeah. So just to reiterate, I meant the ALS challenge. Thank you. So if I get to 100 subscribers, I'll give away a $50 gift card or £50 gift card. And I'll donate $50 or £50 to the ASL charity. And also, if enough of you comment and subscribe and want me to do it, I will also do the Ice Bucket Challenge. But anyway, I'm rambling on and my battery is about to die, so I'll leave you there. My name is London Reject. Be lucky.